ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday morning, the 8th day of January. This is James Spann. Mild weather continues through midweek. Couple of good rain opportunities on the board and an interesting system late this weekend. A lot to talk about, so let's get right to it as we often do We'll begin with some SkyCam pictures just to kind of look out the window this morning. Uh, from the ABC 3340 SkyCam network, there's a look at the uh, uh, Montgomery camera. Looking out over the eastern bypass in Montgomery, uh, very mild out there. Readings are in the upper 50s and low 60s this morning. And that's almost 10 degrees above the average high for today. From Tuscaloosa, there's a look at the Hugh Thomas Bridge. Connecting downtown Tuscaloosa and Northport is seen from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse and a peak at downtown Birmingham from the uh, top of the Daniel Building looking north. What a severe weather outbreak last night. And still some storms are going on this morning in the broad area from uh, northeast Oklahoma and northwest Arkansas back up into the Great Lakes. And one of the reasons for the severe weather outbreak, that amazing warmth. There's a look at temperatures this morning. And uh, you can see uh, readings are way, way, way above normal uh, in the 60s and upper 50s running all the way from uh, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, up into parts of Ohio. And then you get back in the cold air, back in the uh, uh, northern plains and the uh, Rockies out there. And the cold air will win the battle. Hey, this is January, but uh, uh, it has been really something. Look at the storm reports last night. Uh, we had uh, at least two fatalities, according to my uh, data this morning, over southwestern Missouri with those tornadoes and a few uh, non-serious injuries up north over parts of north Illinois and far southeastern Wisconsin. Uh, we spoke with uh, Vince Condella, the uh, meteorologist for WITI in Milwaukee last night. He was our guest on Weather Brains. If you get a chance to listen to that show You'll learn more about that uh, outbreak last night, and certainly the Springfield, Missouri area was hit awfully hard. Uh, now, looking ahead, again, the good thing here, we've got two rain events, and that should bring some good rain in here. This is suggesting rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches for North Alabama between now and Saturday evening, and that would be rain that falls tonight, rain that falls on Thursday. Thursday should be the big rain event. And by golly, we'll take that. Now, let's take a look at the convective outlooks and talk about severe potential. This is for this afternoon and this evening. A slight risk of severe weather from Vicksburg and Monroe almost up to Indianapolis. This would include Memphis and Paducah. And uh, this is the same setup that brought the big storms to the uh, region just northwest of there last night. But as they move in here tonight, we think the storms weaken. We just don't expect a severe weather problem. Limited instability, better dynamics pulling away from us. So uh, I just don't think it'll be an issue. But we'll watch, as we always do. You know, when it comes to thunderstorms, expect the unexpected. But I just don't think it'll be a problem. Now, tomorrow, we are uh, in between waves. So uh, no issue with storms. Uh, we've got that general thunderstorm area there. And that would be for the storms that come in after midnight tonight. But look at Thursday. Almost all of Alabama in a slight risk. And you know, that one might bring some risk of severe weather. It depends on uh, how the features all come together. The, the 06Z run of the GFS, not really supportive of severe weather, but we'll show you that in just a moment. But uh, certainly the instability value should be pretty impressive on Thursday. The dynamics, that's what's in question. Here's a quick peek at what's happening this morning. Uh, and you can see rain still falling. Uh, in the broad area from Tulsa to Detroit, and really heavy rains falling up north. The big thaw is on for sure. You know, just uh, for most of December, the upper Midwest and the uh, Great Lakes were buried in snow, and uh, now they've got heavy rain and some spots cleaning up from tornado damage up there. That's awfully rare for those folks to have severe weather this time of the year. Okay, modeling. This is the 06 GFS valid at... Uh, uh, midday today at noon at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. We've got the uh, big trough rotating through the plain states and down below. During the day today, most of the showers and storms will stay off to the west. We'll go to midnight tonight. The uh, band of storms moving in here, deep surface low near Detroit. 
And really, this run is pretty slow here. This is almost suggesting most of the rain will come from about 10 o'clock tonight until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And again, no severe, uh, pretty fast-moving band of showers, maybe some storms. That would suggest one quarter to one half inch. Not a great rain event. And then midday tomorrow, the surface front stalls out near Montgomery. There could be a few lingering showers over the south. Uh, the north should stay mostly cloudy but dry tomorrow. Not quite as warm. Highs in the 60s. And then Thursday, here comes the next trough. As the wave train is cranking up here. Down at the surface on Thursday, again, the GFS really on this run not looking like a big severe weather problem. We've got the surface low kind of detached and way up north over the Great Lakes, but a good big batch of rain down here, and that's exactly what we need. But we have seen other runs with a surface low farther to the south, and uh, the wind feels stronger. So we'll see. Again, let's get the system tonight out of here, then we can focus on that one. Friday, that's gone. A north wind kicks in. We get temperatures back to where they should be for this time of the year, highs in the uh, 50s. And then the question involves the next system. This is Saturday. And the upper levels, that energy diving down into New Mexico and West Texas. That's what we're going to watch here. Let's go to Sunday. That energy rotates over to uh, Louisiana and eastern Texas. And down below that, a surface low forms in the northeast Gulf of Mexico, really near Apalachicola, not too far south from there. And uh, this is suggesting rain beginning to break out uh, over uh, Georgia, the Florida panhandle, and parts of Alabama. And then we go to Sunday night at midnight. The surface low is now near Charleston. Cold air is pulled in, and that would suggest a change from rain to snow for the northern part of Alabama Sunday night. Uh, and, you know, uh, we've got a little model madness, but the consistency has been excellent for weeks in the idea of a storm on January 13th. And where exactly that surface low winds up, how much cold air is involved, that's going to be the key to the snow opportunities. Now, let me just quickly show you the Canadian here. This is valid for uh, Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. Now, it's got the surface low over eastern Kentucky, a radically different look, and that would kind of keep Alabama initially on the warm side and maybe a change over to snow on the backside, but that is much wetter, we should note, uh, on Sunday. So, uh, again, a lot of inconsistency here, but, hey, let's all say it together. Let's take them one at a time. Let's get the system tonight out of here. Let's get the system Thursday out of here. We can really focus on that thing Thursday night before we make any quick decisions. For now, we'll mention a chance of some light rain or light snow for North Alabama Sunday afternoon and Sunday night, and we'll be able to adjust that later in the week. And then uh, Monday of next week, the uh, system pulls off to the northeast. Pretty good-looking snow there for the interior of the uh, middle Atlantic coast, if that's right, and I think it is. And we'll be windy and cold on Monday. We'll have a hard time getting out of the 30s. Let's go out there five more days. This is the 19th of January. Pretty cold-looking pattern there for the U.S., at least the eastern half. Look at the ridge pumping up over uh, Alaska. Look at all the cold air flooding in here. I hope our buddies up in the north don't get used to the record warmth they've had lately. That's a 1,044 millibar high feeding in the cold air. Almost looks a little suspicious down here for uh, icing with that kind of thing. And then on the uh, 21st, again, an amazing trough over the east. Very, very cold. So even for us, don't get used to this mild weather. And at the end of the cycle on the 23rd, the pattern begins to lift out a little bit there, but certainly after this, we don't see any more record warmth for the rest of this month for sure. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.